What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's documentary review of Flea. This film is directed by Giannis Poher Rasmussen. Now before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button and join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Flea is a, of course an animated documentary that tells the story of a character named Amin who is an individual that fleed Afghanistan with his family and ended up in Russia. And for about the next six to seven years, as the director talks about, he in essence was hiding away, was uh, an illegal in Russia, was always being constantly attacked by the Russian police. They were constantly corrupt, they were taking his money. His family, of course, tried to get to another country to get away from all the problems. And it shows the struggles, it shows the heartache and the problems and everything that it takes when it comes to being an immigrant, when it becomes a refugee, when you're trying to flee a country that is very uh, problematic in a lot of aspects as Afghanistan is known to be. But the other side of the flip coin, as Amin talks about in his interview with his friend, his you know good friend, is the fact that he's gay. And when he comes from a country that not only thinks that's a, a sin against nature, that's very much a death by you know execution for that belief, it tells how he hid that away from his family, how he hid that away from himself. But he could constantly never shy away from what he truly was. And so what this documentary ends up being is not only about a refugee, but about an individual who has to find himself in a world that truly hates what he what he is and what he represents. So therefore, it's a documentary about, you know, the kind of closed nature of the world and how they view certain people and certain kind of ideologies and so on and so forth. So it really tells a humanistic tale and a very um, personal tale, but it also can be relatable to a lot of people, not only from Afghanistan, but from different parts of the world that don't believe in homosexuality and you know, are really struggling with the whole concept of, you know, trying to be who they are. And so with that said, this is a documentary that actually premiered at Sundance in 2021. It was a movie or a documentary that I was actually going to watch at Sundance, but because of the scheduling issues and just how everything worked and money, I decided against it because I really didn't know much about it. And then, of course, the reviews came out and I regretted it ever since. Never really got a chance to watch it because it was just never available to watch in the you know, festivals and so on and so forth. So... On top of everything, it's finally coming out to release for the audience worldwide. I think it releases this weekend that this review is going to post. And I was excited that I finally was able to watch it. Not in the fact of the story material and kind of the ideas and concepts, but just the fact that I was able to see why this movie was so special and why people were loving it. You know, it's one, probably going to be one of the few films that's ever been nominated for, I think, animated film, documentary, and foreign language film in the same year for the Oscars, which is what it's looking like it's going to be. And... With that said, after watching it, I see why this movie is so special. It's a movie that is just full of life. It's a movie that is really unique. It's a very intriguing, very sad, but very hopeful movie in a lot of aspects. It's about an individual that goes through a lot of stuff. It tells us a lot of interesting things about how difficult it is for refugees to get into, you know, away from their situation. And it really is a story that is very humanistic and very approachable and very um, easy to comprehend with just a simple fact that it's very really relatable to so many people. And that's why it's such a great film, such a great documentary, is just on that, that level alone. This is, you know, if this would come out in 2021, it would have been my top 10 of films of the year because it's just that special and great. But what makes it even more special is the fact that it's animated and how it's animated. You know, the parts where it means talking to his friend or we see him in Russia or Afghanistan or, you know, wherever he ends up traveling is all animated. It looks traditional, very um, colorful, and the way it has to be colorful is still dour and dark and so on and so forth. But when this documentary gets into the really nuts and bolts, the really dark, uh, uncomfortable situations, it does it in chalk. It does it in black and white chalk. And what makes that so great is the simple fact that it really is the mindset of Amin's character. A lot of stuff you're seeing, a lot of stuff he talks about, is stuff that he is hearing about, is the stuff that he believes is gonna happen. So we really get into the great mindset or the interesting mindset of Amin's character through chalk outlet, uh, outlines and chalk things and it makes it for a much more visceral experience, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. I thought it was a very well-worn, very visceral experience. And I just was absolutely enthralled every minute of, of this movie that was going further. I mean, it's only a 90 minute movie, but you get so many layers, so many de deepness, so much just passion 
put in this project not only by Amin, who's one of the writers, but by the director himself, who really found a way to tell the story about an individual who is not really a different individual, but he felt different because of where he's from and what the world believes and so on and so forth. So I was absolutely riveted by this documentary. It's one of the best documentaries I've seen in quite a while. And even though Persepolis and the Triplets of Belleville are not documentaries, Persepolis is uh, as documentary as it can get while being a fictional tale. And this fits right into that category because the animation style is very unique. It's very special it's very well drawn it feels like a lot of love was put into it and it's unlike anything you'll ever see it's a very different documentary while still giving you a, a very interesting perspective on someone's life and um yeah by the end of 2022 this will definitely be in my top 10 because it's an absolutely riveting special documentary with a lot of powerful emotional moments and beats and like i said you really feel at the heart of a mean struggle and how it struggles with his family and then the the kind of ending conclusion to the story and the payoff and how everything wraps up and concludes you really feel that you've been through an emotional journey and that's just a special type of documentary so overall highly recommended especially if you like documentaries about human emotion and human condition the struggles of human life which we all go through our own struggles but you know watching this individual and what he has to go through and like i said the director is doing a tour de force type of material the actor of course the mean and the different characters because there's a lot of fictional not fictional but a lot of uh like fictional telling of the true story that we see in this documentary and on top of that it's executive produced by Riz Ahmed and Nikolai uh, Castorwaldo so that's also a plus they really liked it enough to put their name on it so if you get a chance to watch this highly recommended probably be one of your favorite movies of the year it is heartbreaking to watch at some points but it's definitely worth the watch so anyways I'll do it. That'll be my take on Flea. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, comments below. I know a lot of people have seen this movie already, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you have not, are you looking forward to this movie now? So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell. Top to final is coming next. And if you like any of these videos, awesome. Hit that like button. But otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.